All right, what's up, guys? It's King here. And, um, in this video, we're on the JP side, and we're tackling the FEO D12 Transcendence Reckoning. Uh, in this fight, I'll be honest, I I didn't read anything before the fight. I know I listened to Lost video, and he said one of the translations said something about the boss gets stronger with each time it does a force ability, but. Other than that, I pretty much didn't know what this boss did, but I decided to go along with this team because honestly, I didn't have that many characters left to put into a transcendence. I didn't build a lot of characters since I went and did all the other uh, FEODs. So I went with Aranea because I, I did make a commentary video with Aranea released because I was either on vacation or sick, but Aranea! Yes, yeah, if Zosopia knows, that's, that, that's bait. Aranea is bait. Arabea. Arabea. Yes. And uh, she put in work during this fight. She, I think she put in the most work during this fight. I also went with Slightly Younger Galoof. Um, just the only reason I pulled for Slightly Younger Galoof was because I knew he would pair well with Aranea because she keeps re-breaking. And this follow-up, he does his follow-up every time someone breaks the enemy. So... Pretty got some good damage in there. Got some good damage in there, I like to say. And I brought Celeste because it was either out of her or Sid Reigns for a burst character. I wanted to get the boost for the burst. So I went with Celeste and honestly, most of the time Celeste just stood there and gave us auras and burst effect. Other than that, yeah, what the as you can see the boss force gauge actually charges really fast that's why i went with the burst so early just so i can kind of catch up with the boss a little bit and i don't have anybody to speed speed up the force gauge so i went with the burst just to try to catch up with a little bit but the boss force gauge comes up so fast you're, you're honestly not you're not gonna catch it unless, maybe unless you have someone to charge the gauge but it's going up by like five percent almost seems like so even that would be kind of hard to do but anyways the I, I see what square enix was trying to do they tried to get some they tried to get a little bit of mechanics and they tried to make it to where you have to you have to deal with the force gauge but when the force comes as you can see all it does is does that brave attack and it gets instant turn rate after every turn and does a uh, some brave and HP attack, but with Celeste burst effect up, it really didn't matter because she was absorbing the brave hits and so it was just doing zero damage. So that's that that's mostly all Celeste did during the fight. Other than that, honestly, it was mostly just Aranea and uh, slightly longer Galoof putting their work. But yeah, it was it was, it was kind of a. I don't want to say easy because maybe it was easy with the team I used. I know Celeste can solo this, but I I generally don't like the solo fights because a lot of solos it seems like you're just sitting there most of the time and the boss is attacking you and it's usually a counter unit or something like that and yeah, so I just decided to go with this team. I'm pretty sure somebody else uh, used something else. Uh, I didn't get Seymour. I just, well, know what? I'll be honest. I only, I only did the free pulls because I'm pretty much not interested in the character. I understand Seymour hits hard and does a lot of damage now, but I'm, I just can't pull for a character I'm not interested in, even if they're considered. I, is he meta? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, but he does a lot of damage. But I. I was good. I was good. I was good with this setup. I really like an RNA. I like the 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 improvements they gave her because her force gauge hits it, it goes up by a lot. And as you can see, um, I went with the Luna Freya call on RNA just to give her some a, a few more extra turns because I wanted because she's the one that really pushes up the gauge. So I really wanted her to take as many turns as possible pushing up that gauge. We got. Um, slightly longer Galoof doing his follow-ups doing a lot of damage but other than that yeah um, believe 
that's what 50 percent threshold the balls the ball splits in three the boss doesn't to me it seems like they don't have a lot of hp but the ball splits in three and now you got to deal with three of them but it really didn't matter because the force gauge was up by then we was doing so much damage all right now pushing the turns back slightly younger galoof coming back with the follow-ups doing extremes amounts of damage i didn't even have to use the summon <laughs> during this fight <laughs> I I thought of, I, I thought about using it, but I was like, nah, I just go through it. But I didn't even have to use the summon during this fight, and Celeste's burst effect didn't even wear off. But like I said, she honestly she was just standing there giving us auras. I'm does Celeste get give HP damage cap up? I'm not sure. Maybe she does, but other than pretty much just standing there, that's all she did. But yeah, other than that, uh, the fight was I want to say easy, but. We got it done. Other than that, I uh, hope this helps somebody. If you have a shortage of characters or whatever. But this has been King. Um, have another video, another time. Signing out.